All right, I decided to make this video because on YouTube there are no real reviews from people about their Coolador from winter. This is a 120. Um, you can see here I've got it next to a standard gallon milk jug. This is actually distilled water. Um, but that's what it looks like. This is the size of it. Um, you'll see the back of it goes pretty far, but it really only goes to about here because from here back is cooling unit. Um, all right, it looks pretty good. It's, it's built really well. Uh, pretty solid. I don't see any problems with it at all as far as construction goes. All right, um, you can see here that uh, I've got a different um, temperature sensor than what came with it. Um, the one that came with it I thought was pretty cheap. So I ordered this and I had to dremel it out just a tiny bit to make it fit. Um, but I'm overall happy with it. The fit is pretty good. Um, and no problems there. Okay, come on iPhone. There we go, you focused up. All right, let's have a look inside here. I think I've got about somewhere around 100 cigars in there right now. Um, oh, before I open it, uh, you can see the temperature sensor up here, it's at 73. Um, it's supposed to go a lot lower than 73. Uh, 66 is the high end, and it goes all the way down to 50. But I can't get the sensor, I can't get the actual temperature to go below 70. I don't know what that is. It's in my basement, it's not hot down here, there's no sun. Um, so I don't know why it won't, the temperature won't drop a little bit. Anyway, let's open it up. Uh, one thing you'll know, you'll know when I open it, I want to open the drawer. The door has to be opened all the way for the shelf or tray to come out. Alright, so, so the doors you just would normally open it this far. Uh, and you'll see here, it, it hits the door. So you've got to have the door open almost all the way. I'm still hitting a little bit. You gotta have the door open for it to slide clearly and uh, cleanly out. Anyway, I've got this uh, tray stacked about in one position, four high. You can see the sl there are slots uh, in the trays. Yeah. I could fit a little bit more in there. I kind of tried to do a nice little stack, but if you just piled them in there, you could probably fit a lot more than what I've got. Um, here's the second tray. Too high. Uh, from the bottom, you can see the slots a lot better. It's pretty slotted. And here's the top tray. Oh yeah, I can't wait to smoke those. Uh, as far as the light goes, the lights, you can activate it from the front from the door. Now you'll see that it's really not that strong of a light. And it because I have the cigars pretty stacked, the light doesn't come down uh, at all. It only stays in the top level. Um, here I've got my Boveda pack in here. Uh, I'm just leaving it there. It seems to work pretty, pretty good there. The fan, I don't know if you can see it back there circulates the air pretty well I guess so the temperatures are not having a problem at all it's staying pretty good how I want it. Uh, as far as boxes and stuff go you can fit uh, smaller boxes uh, that's a pretty tight fit but it fits in there um, and on the shelves if you wanted to uh, you could you could fit one box really um, if you had smaller boxes like this one you might be able to fit uh, two boxes in there. Anyway, I've just got mine taken out. I'm leaving the cellophane just because I just leave them how they come. I know there will be different opinions about that. Anyway, I'm going to close her up so I don't mess up my humidity too much. Um, so far, I'm really happy with it. I got it off of Best Buy with a 20% discount. I think I paid, I want to say I paid two twelve plus some shipping. Uh, anyway, overall, I'm really happy with it. It looks good down here in my basement. 
Um, that's it. If you have any questions, just put a comment. All right. Talk to you later.